what a goddess. Let's connect with uh, the ancestors and get some ancestor messages for the collective. So I'm gonna connect with my Papa ancestor to see uh, what messages needs to be known for the collective. This is with the ancestor deck. So what did the collective need to know? See things from a higher perspective. Eagle spirit is here. Also, if you um, go on a shamanic journey, you might you might go with an eagle. The first time I, the first time I went on a shamanic journey, I was accompanied with an eagle. But the eagle spirit helps you see things from a higher perspective. The ancestors are also watching from above. They see everything. The seer. They see everything. Seeing beyond the current situation. Two cards in regards to seeing things from a higher perspective. Seeing beyond the current situation. You have to listen to your intuition. Go within. There's, there's something um, hidden beyond this current situation for your highest good. So hold your space. Hold your ground. This is Druid Ancestors. Some of you guys have Druid Ancestors. Keep holding your sacred space. Because you know there's a higher purpose for you, for your life. Hold on, let's see. Collective energies of the ancestors who are watching today for the collective. I just heard a channel message that you need to keep going and don't wait. Whatever that means, whatever whatever that means for you. This is a, a card that says, Lord, take charge with authority. You need to take charge of your life. Take charge of your life. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let nothing hold you back in your life. There's a lot of people, a lot of people, negative energies, dark forces that want to hold you back from your purpose, from your life purpose, from your destiny. No. Keep going. Stay grounded in your power. These deer horns, deers represent power. Deer, he has deer horns on. That represents power. You are in control of your life. You are in, you are in control of your own destiny. Make sure you're saying affirmations in the morning. Huh. Clarify, um, what else? Ancestors and angels. See, snake. So a lot of snake evil entities that want to manipulate and destroy you. Snakes also resonates with transformation, shedding the old. But now nah, I'm feeling snake energy, evil entity energy here. And you need to hold your ground and fight against dark forces. You need to surround yourself with protective energy because a lot of snakes, they want to bring you down. They want to destroy you. Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. Let's keep it real. Y'all need to watch Twilight. The second one. New Moon. You know, I, I watched a YouTuber. This is like months ago. Maybe last year. And she said, y'all need to watch that movie from Twilight. The one with the wolves. And it's interesting that she said that because I just was watching that movie. So I missed the message. The message is, if you have Taino indigenous blood... In your bloodline, your ancestors, your cousins, your Taino indigenous cousins can shape shift into a wolf and chase out ghost spirits at your house. Let's go, Connective. You got to protect yourself from evil, dark forces that's trying to come into your home, trying to destroy you, trying to attach to you. I don't think so. You can ask the collective energies of your Taino indigenous ancestors to shape shift into a wolf and destroy any snake or evil entity that comes into your home. Not snakes, uh, specifically ghosts. Energy vampires. Tell them to rip it to shreds just like Twilight. Light a red candle. A red candle represents strength and power. You could put uh, go away enemies oil in the, in the candle. That's it. That's all I want to say. Because, you know, at the end of the day, the toxic evil entity karmics watch these videos. They watch these videos. But let's go. What else? Let's clarify. Uh, Lord, take charge with authority. Some type of cycle is complete. The circle here. 
this in. This, this deck is, an, is also a deck from Wish.com. So I don't have a book to go with this. And I'm not going to sit here and put the code in. <laughs> I'm not going to put this little code in to try to figure out what these cards mean. I have to go off my intuition. So I see a circle. Circle resonates with me with the wheel. The cycle is complete here. The gatherer. Because they know abundance is coming for you. The abundance is coming for you. Something is coming back to you full circle. And abundance is coming to you. I see a pumpkin. It resonates with abundance. It's harvest time. The gatherer. Soul retrieval. A soul retrieval is here. You took your power back. You took it all the way back. Uh -huh. There's a cocoon here. Something is transforming. You are transforming to your higher self. You came out of your shell. You came out of a cocoon. Someone tried to tie you up, keep you bounded. You released yourself from that. And you took back your power. A snake tried to do that to you. A snake trying to do it to you. Death my Lord. Came out again. You took your power back. You took back your power and these deer horns that this man is wearing represents power. You took your power all the way the fuck back from these snakes that's trying to manipulate your life. Clarify snake. Shed old skin. Clarify the snake. This snake here is trying to cause false illusions with the smoky mirror here. This is false illusions. Either you or your person is looking into the mirror. You, it's, you don't know what it is. It's causing confusion in your mind. No, you took your power back. Because guess what? The wise one, the owl here, owl spirit, represents wisdom. The wise ones, your ancient ancestors, because you are ancient wisdom. Is protecting you and removing false illusions being sent to you by snakes. You have snakes rolling in your head. You have to protect your crown chakra. When someone gets up early in the morning and they're, they're saying negative words of affirmation, that negative energy that's coming out their mouth, it shapeshifts, it shapeshifts into snakes. Snake energy cords in your head. Mm-mm-mm. That's the right answer to see what they're doing. Clear for owl. Clear for owl. Something in regards to your income. Something in regards to your income. And work. Someone's trying to manipulate you at work, trying to mess with your income. If you have a client-based business, they want your client to go to somewhere else to, to get services. They're trying to bring your career to a death. Look at that. Or because of money, because of money, someone's getting up really early in the morning to uh, just sit just trying to manipulate your destiny, your work. Because you do really good work. This is someone who does really good work. High honor. You do really good work and someone's jealous of you. This is envy. This could be a karmic co-worker, karmic competitor online. Some of you have to put your business online, you know what I'm saying? If you have a beauty business, you got to put your work online. If you have if anyone who has an online business, your competitor is envious of you. They want your business to go to another to go to go another competitor. That's all right. That's all right. Their ancestors is protecting you. Your ancestors are protecting you because they see everything. Dummies. Clarify arrow. Clarify arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy the sun because something got illuminated here you know exactly who's messing with your energy your psychic it's your psychic you gotta protect your happiness too someone keeps doing magic to influence your happiness to steal your joy the f these people are miserable the karmics are miserable it's a lot of uh emotional manipulation here with flow water you could be dealing with a water sign who's doing this who's doing the magic could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Secretly working with the moon. You gotta protect yourself, okay? Protect your energy. That's what the answers want you to know. Someone's working with ghost spirits, too. That's why Shapeshifter came out with the wolf spirit. You need to work with wolves to chase out ghosts out of your house. Clarify, uh, protect your energy. 
but my earth sign, it's, it's a water sign and an earth sign doing it. Or the earth sign is doing some type of emotion manipulation towards you or your person or you, your career. Clarify earth. Another card for earth. She's a snake. Rattle. Rattlesnake. You have an earth sign, snake, evil entity in your life that wants to dominate you. That is trying to manipulate a masculine staff, his penis here, to release you. Sweat lounge. What do you do when you sweat? You release sweat, right? That's release. This earth sign female here that's emotion manipulating your love life too. So this is both work. This is both uh, love too because staff resonates with uh, passionate passion. So you can look at it both ways. There could be a, a water sign Scorpio. I didn't mean to say Scorpio, but it could be a Scorpio. I mean a water sign female here that's emotion manipulating your person doing magic, then an earth sign just came out. She's also a snake that wants your, that wants some type of release to happen for you. If you have a social media platform, they're trying to make you lose followers, lose, lose subscribers. You're under attack by an earth sign. If you are separated from your masculine, this earth sign female here is, um, she wants the masculine to go have sex with somebody else and release you. What else? Let's see what other messages come out. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. A coyote. A coyote is a fox's cousin. They're the same family, right? So it's a sneaky, deceptive earth sign and a water sign that's manipulating your energy. You need to protect yourself and shield yourself and take back your power every day. These evil entities are obsessed with you. They're snakes. They're either working with a snake They get up at they get out of bed early in the morning saying negative affirmations. So you have you have uh, energetic snake cords. You might they might be working with an actual snake, causing illusions. But the, the wise ones see what's happening. You're protected. What else about this earth sign? Because you keep coming out a lot lately. Same thing. Something in regards to money. Something in regards to money. Unexpected income. Maybe you're about to have. Maybe you're about to receive unexpected income. And it's earth sign who won't mind her damn business. Keeps looking into your Akashic records. Keeps spying on you. It's trying to block you. It could be someone at work. It could be somebody at work. Or this could be an earth sign karmic. Keeps working with the moon phase. Keeps working with astrology. Keeps spying. It's a magnifying glass. Keeps spying on your destiny. On your life purpose. On this man here. On this man. See how, look, look. Look how the wise ones came out again. The ancestors came out again. This wise, this wealthy man here who, who's financially stable is protected by his ancestors. Two ancestors. If you're destined to marry well, your union is protected from this earth sign. This earth sign can get herself destroyed. Click on the earth sign. Earth. The juice won't stop. The ancestors see what you're doing. But you are an evil entity. She's occupied. I think she's an evil entity snake. Some type of half human, half snake. Or it's in her bloodline. Or dark forces is working through this low vibrational earth sign to uh, cause havoc in your life. Because look, she knows you're waiting. If you are in separation from your person, they think that you're waiting for your person. Or you're expecting your person to come into union. Or they know he's coming into union. But in their mind, they, they're invincible. They still think they can stop this. Divine Feminine, let, let her get herself uh, destroyed. This person is doing pregnancy spells. Told you, she's working on the masculine's penis to do pregnancy spells here with the karmic. It's an outside matchmaker influence here. Yeah. To make the masculine think about going towards the karmic to give her some type of gift here. Or she's trying to uh, call create false illusions. Remember, the smoky mirror came out. That's why, if your masculine is thinking about the karmic, this is why. False illusions here by a snake. There's a snake running through that masculine's brain. And his crown chakra that needs to be extracted. Mm-mm-mm. Well, let's see. Who is the masculine thinking about? Is the masculine thinking about the karmic or is he thinking about the divine feminine? Well, there's a queen of swords here that's cutting out any toxic thoughts. 
Well, let's keep going. Let's see. You could be thinking about a Queen of Swords. I don't think so. I think the Queen of Swords, because remember the um, the Wise Ones card came out? There's a Mother Ancestor Spirit that's cutting this out. It's false. It's, it's some type of um, dark entity here. A dark entity ghost spirit that's manipulating the masculine's thought form. An earth sign female is doing this to a masculine here. It could be a Capricorn. Devil card, right? Devil card is a Capricorn card. People are just sick. People are just sick. Some type of causing some type of burdens here or guilt. Clarify thoughts. What's the masculine thinking about? What is this earth sign trying to manipulate in the masculine's mind? Emotional manipulation every time you drink something. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. And y'all gonna get karma. Y'all gonna get karma every time y'all do something crazy like this. Yep, she wants the masculine to be mad at you, Divine Feminine. To be mad towards you. Mad towards this union. Go against the union to walk away from this union. That's what's happening in the masculine's mind. And possibly something in regards to a child here, a page of cups or a young water sign. Remember I told you there's a water sign doing magic too behind the scenes. That's um, manipulating the masculine here to be non-committal. Knight of Wands energy here. This is gang stalking. It's gang stalking. It's matchmaking energy here. It's stealing. It's deception. It's false illusions in the mind. The masculine can't think for himself right now. So you have to protect yourself, divine feminine masculine energy all the masculines who watch these videos you need to protect your crown chakra because there's a snake earth sign female that's creating a whole false illusion matchmaker doing sex magic on the masculine energy here to release his destiny to release the divine feminine here mm -mm -mm. clarify um shapeshifter it already came out. It's a ghost spirit. I told you it's a ghost spirit here. Someone's working with a ghost spirit. Eight of Pentacles. Someone's working with um, their ancestors to do negative black magic. Look, it came out again. Someone's working with a negative dark entity here. Shapeshifter. And this, this evil entity person or a spirit or some type of spirit here is deceased. It's a ghost. It's an evil ghost spirit here. Mmm. Mm -mm. Some of you guys need to be careful about some type of earth sign here that's uh her energy is more dominant than the than the water sign. That's who you need to worry about right now. Some type of earth sign here. A relative to this Queen of Pentacles. Or it's a, it's a Queen of Pentacles. It's a Capricorn. The devil card came out multiple times. That's it, you guys. My Papa ancestor said, collected, that you guys are protected. You have spirit, you have ancestors working very hard for you behind the scenes. Um, you need to say thank you. You can give them a glass. You can need to give your ancestors a glass of water. Me, specifically, my ancestors keep saying feast on a Sunday. So you, some of y'all need to cook Sunday dinner, make extra food, and just put... Um, so let's put some food on a plastic plate aside for your ancestors because make sure you don't eat or drink off of the same cups and glasses you feed your ancestors with, okay? But you are protected, okay? This is going to come to an end very soon. It's going to come to an end. This earth sign female is uh, some type of evil entity here and, and um, the ancestors are going to take care of her very soon. So don't worry, you guys, okay? That's your ancestor message for you guys for today. Have a blessed one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye.